I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. Today I'm going to show you how to make a free kitchen scale. This is a free paint stick from Home Depot. First, we need to drill some holes. The diameter of the hole should be larger than the diameter of the screwdriver you're going to use. Smaller holes are more accurate. So using a screwdriver with a smaller diameter is better than the bigger one. I drill holes at one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. You should use a sharp object to make a pilot hole. The wood is pretty soft, so it may be possible to make the hole even without a drill. I attach this empty shopping bag to the first hole. I put a screwdriver into another hole to be the pivot point and lift the paint stick up. See, this side is tilting, so we need to do an initial balancing of the two sides. I have a few coins I can use to provide balance. You can use any weight. See? You can even cut up some paint stick. They are various size. The smallest should be half inch. See, this is almost balanced, but not perfect. Let me attach this small bag to show you how to make it perfect. This is the smallest half inch piece of wood. Almost perfect, but still not quite. These are some fine grains of rice. I pour a few in. Now this is perfect. Wow, I told you I'm a genius Asian. You can use rice for all your balancing weights or you can use combination of different weights, but you should not remove those weights when you go to the next step. I put this bag of bananas with unknown weight in this shopping bag. I put a known weight such as a one pound package of noodles into a second bag. This second bag is placed on the other side of the paint stick. I put a screwdriver into a hole to be the pivot point and lift the paint stick up. I adjust the position of the bag with known weight so that we reach balance. Here's the result. At this position, the banana is 3.5 pounds. Why? If we define this distance is A, which is three inches, this distance is B, which is 10 and a half inches. The ratio of B over A is 3.5. The weight of a banana is three and a half pounds based on this equation. Unknown ways equal to known ways multiplied B divided by A. So the banana is 3.5 pounds, three and a half pounds. From the formula, we know we can control three parameters. The known weights, A and B. If the ratio of B over A is too large, then the known weight is pretty sensitive to change. So the known weights needs to be pretty accurate. And also to be more accurate, you can choose one of the holes to put the screwdriver through so that both distance A and B are large. This device is nice, but I will be embarrassed to use it in a store. I'll use this shopping bag. This bag looks like a normal bag, but it has a rubber band tied on the handle or twist tie tied on the handle. It can slide up and down on the handle. This will act as a marker. This enable me not to measure weights, but to compare weights. For example, at Costco, they sell bananas in a bag labeled as three pounds. If you measure the bags, both this bag with eight bananas and the one with nine bananas are more than three pounds. How do you know this bag of eight bananas is heavier than the one with the nine bananas? 
I'll show you the easiest way to compare on the spot inside the store. If I follow the handle to the inside of the bag, I have concealed a safety pin with a couple of rubber bands. Put the nine banana in the shopping bag, lift the rubber band, adjust the marker so it marks the weight. Repeat this with the bag with eight bananas. Since the mark is higher, the second bag with eight bananas is heavier. Now, instead of comparing weights, if you want to know the actual weight, you just need to calibrate with no weight. First, I put masking tape on the bag. Then I put a known weight such as one pound package of noodles into the bag. Hold the rubber band. Use masking tape to mark the first one pound position on the handle. Add another one pound package into the bag. Mark the two pound position on the back handle. Empty your bag. Put the item to be weighed into the bag. See, the onion is about one and a half pound. So this is between one pound and two pounds. This device is small enough that you can use it in the store. You can also use this device in your kitchen, but I have another better solution. Since I need a scale in the kitchen, I use a coat hanger to make something like this. And I touch the bag with a rubber band here. And this can be latched to the door handle of a refrigerator. And then I will mark the lines one pound weight. This is one pound. This may be too thick for light kitchen stuff. You can use a thinner rubber bands. You can even cut the loop of a rubber band, say like this. It's a single one. Let's experiment with very light stuff like this. Now, see this is very thin single rubber band. I use a right pin to mark it. This is a two ounce known weight. This is a two ounce. If you use this thicker rubber band, this distance between the black mark is for this one pound. If you use the thinner single rubber band, this distance between the right mark is for two ounces. Other lightweights, candy bars, coins can be used for small known weights. What if your object is too heavy? You can use the very thick rubber band, multiple rubber band, or spring. If you have a really heavy stuff and stretch this too long, make sure you need to recalibrate. In summary, this paint stick width scale is pretty good and it doesn't cost you anything. But if you don't have the time or the ability to make it, the rubber band scale is easier to make and can be concealed. But it does need a lot more time to recalibrate, especially if you stretch it too much. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.